welcome uh, hello everyone hope you are doing fine i'm again back with another video welcome again back to my channel i'm princess brush for my new subscribers please thank you for coming and for my return subscribers please thank you for following for liking for subscribing and for always commenting on my videos i do videos about housemaid life in the middle east so in today's video i'm gonna talk about babysitting how is it to be a babysitter in middle east oh, my camera is not here okay how is it like to be a babysitter in middle east being a babysitter in middle east it takes time courage brave it's not easy i'm doing this babysitting job i'm really i'm about to make four years in this job but i take care of four four kids i have a 10 10 year seven six and my favorite baby i have this baby like it's my own baby she's one year and a half because i was there when they are giving birth to this baby i'm the one who take care of her i love her more than like i love my own summer own kids how to make it as a babysitter it's not easy because kids here are totally different from kids in my home in uganda Kids are not brought up like this. So you have to catch up with the way here kids are brought up and the way we take care of kids in my country. It's totally different. One thing you have to do is pray. The first thing you have to do every day, every day when you pray for yourself, please pray for those kids. Add them in your prayers. Always add them in your prayers. Pray to God. To strengthen them so that they may like you they continue loving you and to change their behaviors so always when you pray my dear pray for those kids loving them yeah love the kids as you love your kids when you take it in your heart that okay you accept that I'll be babysitting these kids love these kids as, as you love yourself as you love your own kids as you love your siblings take them like that take them like if you don't have kids yet take these kids as your young sisters your young brother i know they are naughty yeah kids here are not but accept it that these kids are like that and they are not going to change because of you so just accept the way they are yeah if they do something bad always report them to their parents some parents they don't care they will see and they leave but always when do something report them to the to their parents get something that they scare like for me what i do to them always when they disturb me they don't listen i have my bag <laughs> it's there in the corner always when i tell someone i don't listen i go i call them come we go you don't listen I'm going to get my bag and I go back to my country. They will cry. They will cry. No, 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 don't go. So they get afraid of that. Whenever they do stop telling, I always tell them, if you don't listen to me, I'm going back to Uganda. So they keep it in mind that, oh, when I do like this, she'll go back home. Be friendly with them. Yeah, I know. If someone will say it's not easy. Yes, it's not easy be friend with them create games create games play with try try as you can to play with them like learn what movie they like because here kids like ipads television is their thing they love watching they watch and their parents will not let them not watch they will watch so be with them see what they like to watch most watch it with them yeah they will climb on you they do a lot of things they do they will climb on you they will do what but just keep it at heart just keep it and another thing 
if their parents do something bad to you or they treat you bad they have not yet given you your salary or what please know where you come from that you are in a foreign country don't do don't bring the hate why you bring the hate and put it on the kids you have problem with her mom why you hit the kid why you hit the kid if the mom will do something for you for the kids let be let them don't do something bad to them you find someone because they have not yet paid you you start beating the kids and some houses they they put cameras and for you don't need for you even if the new home don't have camera keep it in mind that in this house have camera even if it's not there keep it in your mind that in this house have cameras they will send you always when you're going to do something to the kids please keep it at heart that what if they are doing the same thing to my kid to my sister or to my sibling so if you want to be a good babysitter leave everything they do for you something bad for the sake of the kids keep it i know kids here they are not easy kids here are not easy <laughs> one thing about kids here they don't sleep they don't sleep imagine a kid below two years to wake up like 10 in the morning and she look she don't sleep until night 11 p.m and the kid go to sleep they here kids they don't sleep which is not the same in my country because in, in my country kids will wake up in the morning they have to sleep in the middle of the day and by eight or seven they have to be in the bed sleeping so i think because they are not sleeping they don't take long time to rest these kids their mind <laughs> yeah because if they say if you, you rest more your mind is working more so so please let's do like that if the kids do something bad to you don't hurt them back if you see the kids are more bad they are more bad please ask to return you back to the office to the office than doing something bad to you i have a story of a friend she told me that she get she lose mind yeah because she want to shower the kid and the kid pour water on her yeah they always do like that some kids they do like that so she get nervous she slapped the kid and the kid fell down what happened fall down on the stair on the tails what if the kid broke or the leg or the hand unfortunately nothing happened to the kid so she survived on that but they had camera she thought the camera was not reaching in the bathroom so they they deported her back to uganda which was good they didn't hurt her but in order to to survive all that when you see the kid they are doing something bad always call their parents call their parents that's what i do for me i tell them to do something they refuse i'll call their parents it's better to disturb their parents by calling them every time that your kid do like this to this than hurting the kids they are innocent they are small they don't know anything they have it in mind that your housemate you are there to work for them everything why do you want to hit them why do you want another thing you have to know as a babysitter you have to know what these kids are allergic to are they what are they allergic to some kids are allergic to peanut butter some to cheese somewhat so you have to know what they are allergic to so that you don't do that mistake ask ask the ask always ask anything about kids always ask their mama because parents ladies here it's like i don't understand someone give birth but they leave the kids they also make sure they put the kids take care of the kids you know for them they don't want kids when they are still young they bring the house to do everything for them so before you give anything food 
always ask their parents what they like. Because for me, what I fear most here, what I fear most here, is being prison. Always I put that in name. Because my madam also said, if something bad happened to my kids, I will not forgive you. You understand? But when their kids, they do something bad, that's why I disturb her always. And I tell her, madam, your kid do like this. Madam, they don't want to shower I read. They don't want to like this. They're making problem with kids. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and give a comment. Your experience as a babysitter in that home. I never lose hope, my dear. This thing will, will end. Everything have the starting point and the ending point. It will soon end. If you didn't watch my video, watch my video. I pin my video there of my first day as a housemaid in the UAE.